Good afternoon. My name is um, Olushi C. Dolapo. I am a student. Yeah, my question is, I, I would like to first ask um, Doctor this question before I proceed. Please, he said, um, there's a place in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. I think that should be able to give us the, the clarification that um, Jesus is the true way to get to connect with the Father. The brother asked the question, he quoted a verse of the Bible, did not give the reference. I am giving you the reference. You are quoting from Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6. You are giving me the verse of the Bible without reference. I am giving you the reference. Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6 says, I am the truth, the way, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but through me. This means he is the way, yes, but this doesn't mean he is God. If you want to know the context, you start from verse number 1. Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 1. What I told you, give me an unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, an unambiguous statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, or he says, worship me. What Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father but through me. If you want to know the context, we have to start from verse number one. Verse number one, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that if your heart is troubled, be not afraid. As you believe in God, believe in me also. I am going there to prepare a place for you. For in my Father's house, are many mansions. If it was not so, I wouldn't have told you. I go there to prepare a place for you. Then he asked Thomas, you know where I go? He said, no, I don't know where you go. So then he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but through me. Every prophet at his time, he was the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto God but through the way of the prophet. At, at the time of Moses, Moses was the way, peace be upon him the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto God but through the way of Moses, peace be upon him. At the time of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Because he was one of the mightiest messengers of God, at his time, he was the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto God but through the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. But today, the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Today, today, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto Almighty God but through the way taught by Muhammad, peace be upon him. So this means that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger, not that he was God. And we believe he was a messenger. By this statement, we come to know he was a messenger of God. You have to follow his teachings, which we do. Unfortunately, you all don't do. You all worship him as God, which he never claimed divinity. You all are deviating. I request you to come to the truth and believe in one God. Because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. Nowhere in the Bible. Nowhere, brother. Do you believe Jesus is God, brother? Yes, I do. But where does the Bible say he's God? That means you are doing blind belief. You are doing blind belief, brother. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. You have to believe you are the godly person, but not God. You are the messenger of God, but not God. So do you agree now? Sir, I, I didn't get that, sir. No, he was a messenger of God, but not God. Yeah. Nowhere did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, say, that I am God, or where he says, worship me. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto God but through me. That means you have to follow his teachings. Why don't you follow his teachings? We do, sir. You do? Brother, are you circumcised? Yes, yes, yes. Are you yes, circumcised? Yes, I, I, yes, I was, sir. Are you circumcised? I, I, Every, every, everybody should be circumcised on the eighth day. And but I, are you circumcised? I, I should be, sir. Yes, I am. Good, mashallah. Brother, do you have alcohol? Sir? Do you have alcohol? Alcohol, alcohol. Alcohol. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you have beer, wine? Do you drink beer and wine? No, no, I don't. Very good. Because it's mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, do not be drunk with wine. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse number 1, that... Wine is a mocker. Brother, do you have pork? pork no, pork, uh, no, 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 I don't. Marshal, so you don't have pork? You don't have alcohol? Correct? No, I, no. And you're circumcised? Yes, I am. Mashallah. Brother, when you pray, do you bow down your head on the ground when you pray? No, I don't. Why? It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 26, verse number 39. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the garden of Gethsemane, he took a few steps forward, fell on his face and prayed to God. Sir, sir, when, when Jesus was teaching us how to pray, Sorry? Think, when he was teaching us how to pray, I, he didn't specify a particular way of praying. I think he just prayed that way. 
There's no, a place. it is mentioned in the Bible. It's mentioned in the Bible. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20, Think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am come not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, until the heaven and the earth pass away, not one jot or tittle shall pass away from the law until all be fulfilled. And whosoever shall break one of the least commandments and teach men to do so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever keeps the commandment and teaches the same will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. If you want to go to heaven, if you want to go to Jannah, if you want to go to paradise, you cannot break one law or tittle of the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, it's mentioned, if you read in the book of Genesis, chapter number 17, verse number 3, Abraham fell on his face and prayed to God. In the book of Numbers, chapter number 20, verse number 6, Moses and Aaron fell on his face and prayed to God. In the book of Joshua, chapter number 5, verse number 14, Joshua fell on his face and prayed to God. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 26, verse number 39, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, fell on his face and prayed to God. So all the prophets of God, they fell on their face and prayed to God. So why don't you want to fall on your face and pray to God? Yes, sir. I went on the day of Pentecost. My brother. On the day of Pentecost, after the death of Jesus Christ, when they received the Holy Spirit, we didn't say, they, they did, the Bible didn't tell us that the apostles... But Jesus Christ did it. Is Bible more important or Jesus Christ more important? Jesus Christ Jesus. himself did it. So do you have to follow Jesus or follow the Bible? Yes, but I, what, what I'm saying is that if he had thought, they, because the Bible says they followed all the principles of Jesus Christ. Correct. The principle of Jesus Christ was to fall on the face and pray to God, to prostrate to God. Why don't you prostrate? And you said, follow Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, that if I go not away, comforter shall not come. For if I go, shall I send him. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Now this person to come is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Actually, I, I do, sir. But that... Do you believe in Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa Yes, I do. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Allah Akbar. Sir. Do you believe in Messenger of God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Jesus is Messenger of God? Yeah, I believe he's a messenger of God. So you don't believe he's God, correct? No, I, I believe he's a messenger of God. Very good, MashaAllah. But you don't believe he's God, correct? I believe in God. You believe Jesus is God? That Jesus is God. Is he God or is he messenger? Yeah, How can he be both? Yeah. I cannot quote from the Bible, but I, there's, a place, there's a place where... You either believe Jesus Christ is sir, messenger of God or you believe I, he's God. How can you believe he's both? Sir, in, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, there's a place where, Jesus, where, God, where God was creating. He said, let us, mean that they, they, they weren't one day. So let us create man in our own image, meaning that there could have been more, there would have been more than one person there. So I, and there's a place, I, I cannot quote now, so I, I, I don't know. There's a place in the Bible where they said that, that uh, God is three in one, Trinity. That, uh, you know, that three in one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Brother said that in Genesis chapter number one, Almighty God said, let us create human beings in an image. Same thing Quran says, Allah has blown his spirit in Surah Hijar chapter 15 verse 29. Allah has blown his spirit into the human. That means Allah has given his knowledge to the human being. Similarly, when God says, let us create human beings in an image, that means God has put the knowledge of him into human beings. It doesn't mean God has created another God. Because it clearly contradicts the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 5 verse 7 to 9 as well as the book of Exodus chapter number 20 verse number 3 to 5 which says, Thou shalt have none other God beside me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything, of any likeness in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy Lord, thy God, is a jealous God. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he never claimed divinity. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. Image of God here means give the knowledge of God. The second part is okay, Trinity. Trinity. That Bible says, Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They are one. Correct? Yes. The word Trinity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. But you read no. The Bible. Wait, wait. You read the Bible. I challenge you to point out the word Trinity. There is no Trinity mentioned anywhere in the Bible. They didn't but, use the word Trinity. Wait, brother. Let me finish. Okay, sir. After sorry, I give sir. the answer, then you can reply. Okay? All right, sir. I challenge you to show me the word Trinity. The word Trinity exists nowhere in the Bible. 
but it's in the Quran. The word Trinity is in the Quran. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 171, Allah says, Wala taqulu salasa. Don't say Trinity. In khairu lakum. This says, stop it, it's better for you. Trinity is mentioned, but it says you don't say Trinity. It's also mentioned in Surah Maida chapter number 5, verse number 73. It says, kalu salasa. They are doing kuf, they are blasphemy. Those who say God is three in one, those who say Trinity. The word Trinity is mentioned twice in the Quran, but it says do not say it, it is wrong. In the Bible, the verse which is closest to Trinity is the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7. The word Trinity is not there in the Bible. But the verse which is closest to Trinity is the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, which says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. This is the first epistle of John. Chapter 5, verse number 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. And this verse of the Bible, if you read the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by 32 Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different Christian corporate denominations, they say this verse of the Bible, first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, was an interpolation, was a fabrication, was a concoction, and they've removed it from the Bible. So this verse which is closest to Trinity, there are many other verses which are more further away. But the word Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible. The verse which is closest to Trinity has been removed. So how can you believe in Trinity? This is the teaching of the church, not of the Bible. Hope that answers the question. Thank you.